Okay, I got a mountain of stuff to go through here. I've been getting in over the last three weeks. So we'll do some eBay videos. See what we got from off of eBay lately. It's only midnight right now, so it's a good time to do crappy videos. Okay, let's see if we can see what we're doing here. Let's see, where are we going to put this where we can actually see? I don't know. We'll try there. See what happens. Mr. Amazon, what do we got for Mr. Amazon? I know there's no women underwear in here. It's heavy on one side. It's like Taiwan Teddy packing here. It's kind of a cylinder head. Cylinder of some type. So, oh, I have to run it into my hand. That's good. Yeah, that's a cylinder. Pan head. There you go. All that the same the cylinder. I got a big box of crap to throw in there. Oh, that hurt. When you jam fins on the top of your hand, it hurts. Okay, so nice rusty cylinder, but it looks like they honed it. Trying to make it look better. So pannets have the scalp around the outside. It has a lip on it, but it's very, very thin, so that means this bore is really big. Doesn't look too bad on this side though, but so I wonder if this is a 61 inch pan or uh, no, I think it's a 74. It's a different length. There's some casting numbers that might tell somebody something. I don't believe what they tell me though, usually. So it has an oil drain back hole right here. See how the big hole comes down and goes through the cylinder right here. So that makes it 53 and later. So that means it has to be a 74 inch. Found my new caliper, or my old calipers, so newer the other set I was using. So this is pretty thin up here. That tells me it's pretty damn big bore. Nope, doesn't measure very big though. 3.468, so that's 70, so that's 40 over. Why is that lip so thin? This thing's been cut down then. Slip's been turned down. You can feel the big lip right here. This might have some kind of a sleeve stuffed in it, maybe, or... No, it looks good down on this side. The cylinder's definitely jumped because I got a... I did something stupid there. So this is the regular head, right there. And this is a regular cylinder right here. So you can see how the lip is a lot bigger. So if we take the head, here's the pan head, put it on top of the pan head cylinder, fits pretty nice and tight, see? Not too bad. Nice and snug. Put on top of this one. That's the exhaust is here. Let's see, put it over here. Clearance. Clearance. Lots of floating around, see? So for some reason they cut that thing way down. So, like I said, you got a taller lip and it's made to go inside the head here to hold it. So first thing we do is check our height. <clears throat> Stock is 205 with all the dirt. This one's 115. Then, take this diameter here, 
3.763. We're going to hit zero on that right there. And this is the difference, see? 203 thou undersize. Three point five sixty. So, I wonder if they're trying to put this onto a Sportster or something. Maybe I'm not sure what the plan was on this one. <clears throat> Let's see. The Sportster has I hauled out of here. I think I got a Sportster cylinder right here in the corner. And back over there. Let's go see if I got a Sportster laying around. Let's see. Yeah, there's one down there. Here we go. Sportster cylinder. Nope, that's 3.4. Not even close. So. I haven't got a clue what the hell the plan was on that one, but they definitely screwed that thing up. <clears throat> so that's a junk cylinder. That's going to have to have a, a big fat ass step sleeve put in there to fix that problem. So even though it's got a nice bore in it and everything else looks nice about it, it ain't no good the way it is now. It can be fixed, but it's no good. Now let's see if they cut the uh, length down in any. And about three, three. That's close to stock there. Yeah, so I think we're good on that. It's about ten thou less. I think there's a gasket or some lips on this one still. It's like five point three sixty might be stock. This one came in at three. 339, 340, 340, so it's about 15, 20 thou undersize on height also. So it's been trimmed down a little bit on the height also. So, once again, you can't see stuff like this on eBay when you're buying stuff. So, unless you catch an idea that the lip's real thin up there, you don't really notice it. So, anyway, this has been butchered, so a real expensive paperweight. Yeah, I don't think I paid that much for it, but anyway, it's paid for weight for now. It can put a sleeve in it and fix it, but you have to put a sleeve in it. All right, that's it for now.